Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Two Bros Performance YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing some more work on the bug. Um, in just a minute we're getting ready to test fit some radials on the back. See how they fit with the body set in place and mounted. I got my rear axle, the rear suspension welded in and mounted. So, we're going to test fit the slicks again and see how they look. I'm going to be picking these up from a friend here shortly, so I'm pretty excited for that. Help me hook when I uh, go to Mexico. But yeah, let's get into it. guys so we got our radials mounted and they look pretty good but if you notice right here we got about one fingers worth of body gap between the fender and the tire let's go over to the other side I'll show you unfortunately we have more body gap on this side I took a long time and I tried to make sure I got everything lined up well and I got the body nice and level on the frame we got about two fingers worth of body gap right here so what I found out is that the uh, axle is not sitting level underneath the frame because, here I'll show you, you can see the angle of my rear shackle mount right there. It's almost a 45 degree angle, which I need to fix that. But if you look over here at this side, you can see it's laying almost flat up against the frame. Luckily I just tacked those in when I was just getting everything set up, so they're not fully welded in, they're not in their final resting place. So I'm going to grab a grinder, jack this up, throw it on some jack stands, Cut those tack welds off and then get the shackles lined up like they need to be, re weld them in, and we'll see where we sit. trying to get the rear tires on first thing and I ran into a bunch of problems like I didn't have my axle centered like it was supposed to be one of my rear shackles on my leaf spring was out of adjustment and the list goes on and on. I had a bunch of stuff that just wasn't right so I spent pretty much all of today getting my rear axle lined up and getting it re-welded into place making sure the welds were good so here's what we have. I'm actually extremely happy with how centered it all is in the wheel well. And uh, if you look, it's about two finger gap right there. About a two finger gap, so I'm pretty happy. Everything came out nice and lined up. The axle is actually pretty even. You can see some tire hanging out right there. Some tire hanging out right there. And it all just came out 
better than I expected. I was really frustrated because the rear suspension has been like the bane of this car's existence. It's been the worst thing trying to figure it all out. I'm not a suspension guy and it's just been hard. But we finally got it all set up. Spent like a whole day on it, but we got rear tires on it and I'm pretty excited. So that's about all we did today, but it's finally looking good. It's really good to finally have this thing out in the sun. See it outside, it's been stuck in the dark connex for so long. So that makes me pretty happy. Over here, don't know what he's doing, but we got Jables. He's not feeling very good today. He's feeling kind of sick. He got into his cousin's dog food and it's a different kind and so he's just not doing too well. And over here, <laughs> we got my co-pilot. Co-pilot. Okay. Co She's been helping me with everything. Super awesome. My girlfriend, Emma, couldn't do it without her. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching today's video. I know it was a short one. I know we didn't get a lot of footage, but we did get a lot done. We got that rear axle where it's supposed to sit, making a lot of progress, and I hope we're gonna get this to LS Fest 2020. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos. Share it with your friends. Comment, let me know what I can do different, what I can do better, give me some input, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching Two Bros Performance YouTube channel. Peace.